All right, I'm all set up, ready to go. Just a few areas I want to go over because we're going to go through a process while reviewing the S10 Plus. So I don't want to do everything here in this video and keep you too long. But one of the areas that I wanted to really try out is the ultrasonic in-display fingerprint reader. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the display and uh, there, there she is right there. We're going to hit that and boom, we're on. Let's do that again. Tap on the display and boom, we're back on. Very nice. We're not going to tap on the display right now. We're just going to see if I can find where it's at and press and there we go. Very nice. Everything working great. When I implemented my fingerprint into my S10 Plus, it gave me some instructions to really firmly press kind of hard on that. That wasn't the actual wording, but they want you to press kind of hard on the display. Allow the fingerprint reader to really read your fingerprint. And I made sure that I uh, did the tip and right about to about right here and from, from uh, left to right, right to left and all around. I mean, I made sure I got every little corner again from the tip to the bottom area right there pressing firmly into my display, not into it, but onto, you know what I'm talking about. And I wanted to make sure it, it, it really read my thumb really well. And as you can see right here, um, it did a really good job. Now, it's a little delayed. Uh, I don't know if that's going to get any faster or if Samsung's going to have to do, uh, or, or not do, but send out a software update to get that to start to uh, work a little bit faster. As you can see, that there's a bit of a, a delay there. Now, you're supposed to just tap on it is what they say. I'm pressing. So let's see if I tap on it. Oh, my gosh. Check that out. Let's do that again. Nice. So it's actually even faster. So let's not press in. Let's just tap and pull away. And it's a lot faster, actually. Now, I have some uh, wallpapers that are specifically made for the S10 Plus that I got off the web. I will share some of those with you. Uh, so if I press and hold and go to wallpapers and uh, go to my gallery, I'm going to choose, uh, let's choose Dark Vader. Uh, home and lock screen and there is the Darth Vader wallpaper that's hiding the pill cutout okay so let's go ahead and set that and go back home and there you go now you really can't see that cutout with the two cameras there the 10 and 8 megapixel camera okay uh, did I mention the cameras on the back? A 12 telephoto, uh, 12 megapixel telephoto lens, a 12 uh, megapixel uh, wide angle cam, and you have a 16 megapixel right there on the end, ultra wide angle cam, and your flash there. So three cameras on the back, that beautiful, beautiful ceramic prism white back. Let's go back and change that wallpaper really quick. Uh, let's go to this one and uh, apply because I want to show you really quick how to hide the uh, pill cut out there uh, we're gonna go into the settings we're gonna go to the no, not notifications we're gonna go oh my goodness are you kidding me into display and full screen apps and it is the, here that you can hide the front camera turn that on and now you have a top bezel. Some of you may say that's an extreme bezel up there. This is like Sony right here, right? This is like what Sony has going on on their devices, which I love. I love. Let me bring over my Sony Xperia XZ2 Premium. Look at that. A lot of bezel up there. What else? 4100 milliamp battery. I already mentioned the cameras on the back, the front, 8 gigs of RAM. 128 gigs of storage, which you can expand on that with this device. It's 175 grams in comparison to 200 and I think it's 36 on the XZ2 Premium, somewhere around there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, what else? What else? Dual speakers, Dolby Atmos speakers, uh, right up top, doubling up with the earpiece there and right down here your other speaker usb type c port and you have 
a mic right there, your headphone jack still there, Bixby button, volume rocker right there, and your power button there, and up top you have your uh, SIM tray and another mic right there. So that's basically it. Everything I'm going over, I know a lot of it you already know, but I wanted to try out some areas. I wanted to show you how to hide that area up top. All right, let's check out a video and listen to um, some music here really quick. And uh, just, to, just so you can hear the speakers. Go to some free music here so I don't get myself into trouble. Man, that sounds good. Sounds really good. Let me know what you think. You know what? I appreciate you all coming by and checking out this video. Uh, hopefully, I can give you something a little bit different than what everybody else is giving you during the reviewing process, during my experiences with the S10 Plus. I'm going to do one quick sample here with the camera. Uh, you got your uh, telephoto lens and then you have your um, wide angle 4x3 and then you have your ultra wide angle. That's a 60 megapixel right there. So the other two shooters right here we have 12 megapixel, 12 megapixel, 16 ultra wide. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Just looks good. Really good. Yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. I do have a case right here uh, from Armadillo Tech that I'm going to sport. This is part of the Ranger series. Shout out to Armadillo Tech for sending me this case for review. And uh, I got to get some protection. Uh, I already did a review on uh, Van a Vanguard Armadillo Tech. Uh, military grade, military grade cases uh, please check out that video uh, I love the fact that they take a portion of their earnings and support UNICEF uh, so uh, please check out that vid this, for the Samsung Galaxy S10 I'm not bringing in that device but they wanted me to review that specific case the Vanguard um, it's right here with the kickstand the Vanguard military grade rugged case for the S10. This is for the S10 Plus. This is not that rugged, but it's still going to be a lot of protection. It's not really minimal, but is minimal compared to the rugged case. But this is military grade as well. Uh, good looking case. And we're going to go ahead and slide the S10 Plus into there. And you have a pre installed. Nice. Nice. See if I can find that. Oh, really? Okay, let me do that one more time. Bam! Loving it! Okay, so the volume rocker, everything working there. Up top, you have your cutout for your mic there, cutout for your speaker, USB Type C charging port, and your headphone jack area there. And, uh, your other mic is right in there. I don't know if you can see that right in there. There we go. So great looking case. I'll leave a link for this case down below in the in, in the description area. Nice uh, depth there with uh, the cutout for the cameras to protect that area. And you got some lip up top and the bottom there when placing down on most surfaces that will protect your display. The, scre uh, the uh, screen protector will protect the display as well. Uh, but that looks really good. I love the ridge design on the sides for a better grip. 
So, yeah, um, I covered a lot of different areas in this video. Again, let me know down below what you would like me to cover with the S10 Plus through the reviewing process. I know I already said that. <sighs> this video just went on a lot longer than I wanted to. Okay, that's it. I'm done. To my next video. Check out the early, early morning vlog, please, because I'm going to be doing some video in the dark, low light situations and taking some pics as well. We want to see how the S10 Plus does in those situations. So please follow me during the early morning vlogs.